First of all, thanks all for being here, especially thanks Alex for the organization. It has been a great workshop. I'm very happy to be here again in this much in practice first virtual workshop. And this is a joint work, I'm presenting a joint work with Francisco Silva. Francisco is in Chile in the Catholic University and based in, in Uruguay. And the title of the paper is Optimal Assignment Mechanisms with Imperfect Verification. So please feel free to unmute and interrupt me to make questions and comments. This is a, a, a new project that, that we have. So really, really, thanks a lot for the comments. So the problem that we tackle in this, in this paper is the following. This is an object assignment problem without transfers. This is the general problem. We have objects to be assigned to agents. It's a pretty standard. Agent can be assigned to at most one object. Object differing their quality. We will have high quality object and low quality object. And all agents prefer, prefer high quality over low quality objects, but there are not enough high quality objects for all the agents. And the, the value, so the value for the social planner from giving an object to an agent depends on the agent type on the agent private, which is private information of, of, of the age. I will give you an example in the next slide. And the social planner wants to assign the high quality object to the high types, but he doesn't observe the type of the, of the age. There is, and this is a, one of the uh, new things on the paper, there is imperfect evidence of the, of, of the types. Types are, are not observed, but there is some imperfect evidence of each individual type. And what we do in the paper is we characterize the incentive compatible mechanism that maximizes the social planner expected payoffs. Yes, this is the general problem. So to be more specific, one of the main, one of the, sorry, one of the motivating examples of, of our problem is the program of college admission that we all probably know, where we have to assign students to universities. Students, we assume that they have common or different preferences. They are high quality universities and low quality universities, and all of all students prefer the high quality university. But they differ in talent. Their, their uh, different students have different level of talent. We will have students more talented student than, than the others. And the social planner wants to assign the more talented student to the best university. But the problem is interesting because the social planner doesn't observe the talent of the student. This is the this is private information is the, is the type of the, of, of the student. But he has access of a, a, to, to, to a signal of talent. He, he observes an imperfect signal that we can think about exam score, letter of reference, things like that. And based on this signal, the, the goal of the sub planner is to assign them the more talented student to the best university. But let me be more precisely, and we will, I will present this example, and we, I will use this example to, to tell you the main intuition of the, of the model and the mechanism. So in the context of college admission, let's assume that there is a continuum of students. And there are two types of universities, high quality universities and low quality universities. The space in the, 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 the capacity of the high quality universities is one half. So there is not enough space for everyone, but there is unlimited space for in the low quality universities. There are two types of students. Students with high high talent, high talent students, and low talent students, and uh, each type has equal probability. In, in in the model, as I will explain later, we, we work with um, an arbitrary number of finite number of of types, and this is the payoff of, of the student. Note that the ordinal uh, preferences are the same because every student prefers being assigned to the high quality university 
than to the low quality, and low quality is preferred over not being assigned. But the difference between the assign, being assigned to the high quality versus low quality university is increasing, increases with type. So higher type get more utility from being assigned to the, to the high quality university versus the low quality university. Yes, this is different between high, low, and low and not being assigned is in, is increasing, increases with the type of the student, with talent of, of, of the student. So talent is not observed. This is a signal, which is, is for, for the score also, you can think about. And the signal, the signal is uh, the, the distribution is uh, uh, it, it depends on the true type of, of the student. And we what we in, impose, what we assume about the signal is that more talented students are more likely to obtain better scores than less talented students. We will assume that this family of, of distribution verifies the strict monotone like a writing property. It's quite standard. So what happens if we apply DA here? OK, it's, this is pretty simple. With DA, we, we have a, a unique cutoff, a threshold of the score, such that if the score of the student is higher than one half, lands in the green area, the student is assigned to the high quality universities, to one of the high quality universities. And if the score is lower than one half, it's assigned to the low quality university. And everyone is, is assigned in this, in, in this example. This is the, the DA. This is what the outcome of, of the DA. So what we ask in the, in the when we investigating this paper is suppose that we want to maximize the number of high talent students to the high quality university. This is given this condition on the uh, on, on the cardinal preferences of the student, which is well, the difference is increasing with type. This is equivalent to maximize the ex ante expected utility of each age. So suppose that we want to maximize the ex ante utility expected utility of, of each agent. We ask if the A is optimal, and if not, which are the optimal mechanisms? This is the main question of, of the paper. So one response is the A, as I will show you now, is not optimal. And we want and the, the main contribution of the paper is to, co to characterize the, this optimal mechanism in this, in this way. So Juan, can yes. I ask you something? So what is the yeah, notion of, of what is the notion of optimality here? Is like average utilities? It's the um, it, the exact utility of of, of each student before they learn their their type. We, yes, we want to we want to maximize this the the, the expected utility, the expected. probability of each type. Yes, thank Great. you. Thanks. So. Why DA is not optimal? So, in the optimal mechanism, if we depart from from DA, remember that DA it computes it computes the, the same threshold for all the students, uh, one half. In the optimal mechanism that, that we construct in the paper, before taking the exam and before the signal is realized, students have to choose between two tracks, what we call track A and track B. In track A, we increase the, the threshold to be assigned to the high quality university. We increase from 0 0.5 to 0 0.64. So it's harder for the student to be assigned to the high quality university if they choose track A. And we make it easier for those, for those students that choose track B to be assigned to the high quality university because we decrease the threshold from 0 0.5 to 0 0.36. With only this change, obviously all the, all the students will choose track B because it's, it's the easier track to be assigned to the, to the uh, best quality university. So the other change that we do respect, with respect to the A is to increase the threshold in track B to be assigned to the low quality university. So 
in track A, it's harder to be assigned to the high quality university because you have to be, have a score higher than 0 0.64, but you are, you are assigned for sure, yes? In track B, it's easier to be assigned to the high quality university because you only need a score higher than 0 0.36, but there is a positive probability that you are not as assigned. So if there is a risk in, in, in track B that, if, that if, if your score is lower than 0 0.15, so you are, you are not assigned. So which is the idea here? The idea is, okay, if you are a, a good student, you are more confident, if, or a high talent student, you are more confident that, that your signal will land in the green area, so you are more favored to, to choose track B, even when there is a positive probability to not be assigned. So it's the risk, the, the, this red, red region here. And the less talented student, this, this red region is enough to uh, make it then to prefer the track A instead of track B, because even if track B is easier, there is a there is a risk for them to uh, not be assigned at, at at the end because there is a high enough probability such that their signal their score is lower than 0 0.15. So this is what it looks the optimal mechanism with with two types, which is the the key idea here is this idea of self selection. We fix the, the thresholds for, of each track. When we have two tracks, there are two, two for, sorry, when we have two types, there are two, uh, two types, I, are, there are two tracks, but in the case of N types, we have N tracks. So we fix the threshold in, in each track, such that the more talented student we prefer in this case track B, and less talented student we, we, we prefer track A. In contrast with the standard mechanism, the optimal mechanism has justified envy, exposed justified envy, so it's not stable. This is easy to, to see if you compare a student who chooses track A with a score of 0 0.60, for example, he's assigned to a low quality student, but a student who chooses track B and it has like a 0 0.5 score, it's assigned to the high quality university. So this student who choose track A will envy the assignment of another student who choose track B with a score of 0 0.5. Also, the, the optimal mechanism is not efficient. It's not exposed efficient because also here we will have students that are not assigned this is student who choose track B with a score lower than 0 0.15. They are not assigned, and we have empty seats in the low, in the low quality universities. But this is like the price that we have to pay in order to recover the same compatibility. And what is interesting also that while we were writing the paper, I, I found that a similar idea like, like this is used in Hungary in the college admission. One, and Peter, I don't, I don't know if he's here, but uh, please correct if, if I'm not uh, right here. Uh, in Hungary, they, they have two tracks, like in our mechanism, that the students have to choose before doing the exam. They have to choose what they call high level track or a normal track. In the high level track, they take a more difficult exam. It's harder to pass the exam, but if, but if they pass the exam, they have extra score. They have a 10% of, of more points in the exam. But if, if they, or the other option is, is to take the, the normal track with exam that is not so difficult, but you don't have extra points. This is like the same idea that we have in the paper our optimal mechanism. And it's important because it's interesting 
because in this case, uh, uh, there are only, only two tracks. We call this in the paper a binary mechanism. And it's interesting because even if in, in the case of n types, obviously a binary mechanism, the binary mechanism is not optimal, but we show in the paper that even that it's not optimal, it performs better than, than the A. So, I mean, it's, it's more reasonable to implement in practice, right? because you only have to implement two, two, two tracks, like in Hungary. So, in terms of the contribution, it, it's a mechanism design problem when, where we have a site to find object to agent, object has different quality, agents have different types, there are J types, and we have to, I want to assign a high quality object to high type agent, and we don't observe types. What is new in, in this literature that is that we, in, in our case, uh, types are only, uh, there are imperfect evidence of, about types. This is what, what is new. And we characterize the incentive compatible mechanism, and we show that they are essential, unique. So in terms of the literature, I don't have time, but this, these are the two more, two closest papers to, to our, in, in the literature of mechanism design with type verification. And also Antonio and Nisa, they have a, a, similar, a similar model where, where there are three types of objects. But the main difference is that there are no signals there and preference of agents are, are, are different. So even if we don't have signals in our model, the two models will have different results because the preference of the agent is different. So Alex, I, I have only five minutes, right? You have seven minutes. Third, seven minutes, okay. So the model is, I, as I say, it's a general model where we have a continuum of agent, two types of, of object, high quality and low quality. Agent, there are J types of, of agent. Um, okay, and I will skip some because this is what I, I have explained. Preferences, uh, uh, agents have ordinal, the same ordinal preferences. Type and quality are complement. This is what I explained, that this difference is increasing in type. So everyone wants to go to a high quality university, but high type, high, or everyone, everyone wants a high quality object, but high type gives more utility respect to low, low, respect to low types, from high high quality object when we compare to low quality object. Also, that is this difference are increasing with, with, with types. In terms of signal, we assume that the distribution verifies the monotone like and writing property. You can think about the multiplicative uh, utilities that verifies on the on, on this assumption. And allocation gives from each type and each signal the probability to be assigned to the to the high quality and the uh, and a low quality object. And this is feasibility. And this is what, uh, this is the, the expected utility of the agent. So we, that we want to maximize. The expected utility it's only, okay, uh, given an agent and, and the type that the agent Every rules, it's only the probability of the signals times the, pro the probability of the assigned to the high quality and the low quality object times the, the utilities. Incentive probability is, is as usual, the same definition. And this is what we want to maximize. We want to maximize the extent expect a utility of, of each agent, the, the, the total welfare. So, which is the probability of each type times the, the utility of, of uh, each type, given, given the type and given the allocation to, to, to that type. So we focus in what we call order allocations. Order allocations are allocations that we have for each type, two thresholds. And 
if the signal is higher than the upper threshold, the agent is assigned to the high quality object. It's in between to the low quality object. And if the signal is lower than the, the lower threshold, it, it is not assigned to, to any object. So another, another allocation is something like this. This is it's an example for, for three types where we, we have, as, as I just said, uh, each, for each type, we have two thresholds. If the signal lands in the green area, they are assigned to the high quality object. The yellow to the low quality object and in the red, they are red, they are not assigned to uh, any object. So our main theorem is the following. It says there is an order allocation that is an optimal allocation. An optimal location is a, a location which is feasible, incentive compatible, and maximize the welfare function, which is the exact expected utility of each agent. And the optimal location has the following properties. The upper threshold, they are weak in de decreasing the type. The, the lower threshold, they are weakly increasing in type. And each type is different between reporting his type and the next type. And this is, I will come back to, to the second point, but this is like an example of an optimal allocation with, with three types. As I just mentioned, lower thresholds are decreasing with types. This means that for high types, it, it is uh, easier to be assigned to the high quality university is because the green area is larger, but also uh, high types, they, they have a higher chance to be not assigned. So the red area is, is increasing with also with, with types. This, this has the effect that those agents that are more confident that they are signal will land in the green area, We'll, we'll choose uh, higher tracks. So, you know, each, each of these are, uh, are tracks. And we also show that this, of this mechanism, this allocation is, is essentially unique. So for any optimal allocation, there is an, an optimal order allocation, which is the, have, it's the same for all, all types. And it can be different from, from the lowest type, the type one, but overall, the the, the, the expected allocation is, is, is the same for the for this age. So to go one more, let me skip this. A couple, I almost done, no, Alex? Yes, okay. So yes, last minute. Me, uh, how much? One minute. One minute, okay. So, uh, if, if one or, or only to say two results uh, uh, when we compare to with, with DA. As I said, DA is not optimal in general. And also, we, we ask in the, in, the, in the paper what happens if we want to locate all the students. So if, remember that in the optimal location, there may be an assigned student and uh, an empty seat in low quality universities. What happens if we want to allocate all the students? That is what we call full, alloc full allocation. And in this case, the optimal mechanism is, is the A. You cannot, you cannot uh, do better than, than the A if you want to, to allocate all the two. And to conclude, if, as I just mentioned, if you are afraid that this is, in, in the general case of N types, this is not very easy to implement, you can implement a binary mechanism with only two tracks. And we show that this is even this is bad, even this is not optimal, it's better than the A. We show that when we have more than two types of, of universities, here we have high quality and low quality universities, uh, we, we cannot characterize the optimal mechanism. It turns out that it is quite hard, but we can show that we can construct a, a binary mechanism that generates larger welfare. Than, than, than the A, even when, when more than two types of university. And, and the final remark, this is also, it, it speaks to the 
to the debate between centralizers and decentralized system, because this is uh, an, an, an argument in favor of centralized system, because remember that uh, in the optimal mechanism, there will be uh, an assigned student and empty seats in the local IT university. This is only possible in a centralized system, because in a decentralized system, it's obviously that a student will this an assigned student will contact low quality one, one, one a low quality university and the local and the low quality university will accept if, if it has if, if it has empty seat will accept this student so this is the uh, the optimal mechanism I think it's more possible to be uh, implemented in a centralized than in the decentralized system and thanks a lot and okay. all of you thanks thank you Thank you.